like Venetian architecture? I mean, how do we Austria, that? Austria, Venice. Uh, they've got the points and the things in the windows. The points and the, the points, things in the windows. The points above the Those, windows. These are technical descriptions from our expert here. Yes. The points and the things in the windows. Yeah. All right. Got exactly. it. I'll keep looking for those. Okay. Good morning. I am packing up this morning, going to take a ferry boat out to an island here in Croatia called Hvar. So packing up, leaving Split, and heading out there. It should be about a one hour ride, and then arriving at the hostel there. And I'm traveling today with Drew, who I met here at the hostel, and it uh, should be a lot of fun. going to check out that place for at least a day or two. Getting our ferry tickets here. 100 meters down, then on the right side, the next gate. Okay, so look for gate number 11. Gate 11. Thank you. Okay. Is that for the Virginia ticket? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So 90 kuna, that's about um, $13, something like that, for ferry ticket, one hour, and going over to the island. It's a little overcast today, windy, starting to sprinkle some rain. I think this is the first day that's been overcast in weeks starting to rain here and so I broke out my rain jacket got all the way down to the boat 40 minutes early realized I forgot my hat and my sunglasses about 10 minutes from the hostel so I'd made the decision to go back to the hostel grab the hat and sunglasses interestingly enough this is the fourth time in the last year that I've forgotten things at hostels one time I forgot a uh, set of boots in Lima, Peru, hiking boots for 10 days. Fortunately, I was going back to that exact same hostel and they were still there. Second time, I left an iPad, mini iPad in a hostel in Rio de Janeiro, which is not a place you want to be leaving things laying around. And interestingly enough, two days later, it was still in the locker against the side in a shadow corner where I put it and missed it when I was packing because it was in the dark and it was still there and then most recently about four days ago three four days ago I left my power converter power brick for my uh, laptop and a little bag of electronic cables in my hostel in Zadar and they were really wonderful there at that um, boutique hostel to ship it down here by next day delivery uh, to split. So I got all of that back. So in every instance, I was able to recover whatever I left behind. Pretty awesome. So making a beeline back quickly, grab my hat, back to the ferry. I have my hat, my sunglasses, and about 20 minutes to get back to boat. Ground is super slippery on these white rocks and the rain gets on them. It's like ice and navigating through all the crowds. I never realized how slow tourists walk until today. It's quite something. That's my ship over there in the distance, the smaller catamaran. At the end of that pier. Should be able to make it back in time. I've made it back in time. Ticket ready. Boat is still here. Drew, I think, has my baggage on the boat. up here on the hill big fortress definitely looking forward to checking that out hey i 
decided to cook my own meal. I'm not much of a chef, so I'm going to make an attempt here to have some eggs, make myself a little omelet. And here is my homemade omelet without cheese, just because I don't like cheese. It's raining this afternoon and so we're able to go out and wander around a little bit and see Havar. And Drew is telling me that there is like massive influence on the architecture from like Venetian architecture. And how do we Austria. know that? Austria, Venice. Uh, they've got the points and the things in the windows. The points and the, the points, things in the windows. The points above the Those, windows. These are technical descriptions from our expert here. Yes. The points and the things in the windows. Yeah. All right. Got exactly. it. I'll keep looking for those. Okay. Looking around, Drew keeps getting distracted uh, by these lions that are appearing everywhere randomly, and it's it's like the movie Up, where you where the dog sees a squirrel. You know, it's <laughs> like you middle of conversation, squirrel. Is well for you, it's the distraction. Lion. So. What's, what's going on with the lion? The lion with the wings are the Venetian uh, symbol, so they're more uh, Venetian influence. So Ven more... Vienna, Austria. More, more Vienna stuff, exactly. more Venetian stuff. Exactly. back across over our hostel is over there a little bit up on the hillside but absolutely gorgeous here overcast day of course but just the architecture and the layout of the city is really really nice and up on the hill you can see the fortress up there I think I have to go check that out either later today or tomorrow it's absolutely a beautiful city here Var you can see the harbor area down here all the rooftops of the old city, off in the distance, the islands, and just picturesque, even with an overcast day, it's incredible. This is the entrance to the fortress. We're gonna walk up a little bit and uh, go check out the fortress. up to the fortress these are the outside walls the front of the fortress and behind me over here you can see the city of Var below and the bay absolutely gorgeous I reached the official entryway the area where you got to pay your fee to go into the fortress so I'm gonna go inside find out how much it is go inside fortress the very pinnacle the highest tower looking down on the city here it's pretty high up and heading out. It was a pretty good experience. It cost 30 kuna to get in, which is about four, four and a half dollars, something like that. Uh, it's probably worth it. Uh, it's a nice view up here and interesting to walk around. And like they have a small ballet presentation. Uh, with dinner in tonight and Drew here is a gourmet chef. You can see him here with a knife going at it, 
making stuff and boiling water. Both, both are things that I don't have skills with. Drew, the gourmet chef, has made pasta with pesto and homemade garlic bread with homemade garlic sauce with real garlic. That's all I have for this episode. Remember, savor the moment, pursue your passions, and be happy. See you next episode.